Good day, everyone. You're welcome to the lesson of today. My name is Adedayo Adeguke, and together today we are going to be studying Omo name as a topic in our English grammar class. Once again, you're welcome to this lesson, and our topic for today is Omo name. You can see it on the screen. H O M O N Y M. Omo name. We are going to be seeing what an homonym is. Okay, if you look at the screen, there's something, you, there's a picture here. Uh, we have a tree and we have a dog. Then we have a word here. What's the word? Bark. Of course, you know that um, that's the sound that a dog makes. Okay, a dog barks. Okay, but this bark is also the name of of the outer parts of this tree, this trunk, the outer part is called the bark. So bark can mean the sound of a dog. It can also mean the bark of a tree, okay? That is the outer part of a tree. That is what we want to study to be homonym, a word that means different thing. Now, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define homonym, then give examples of homonyms. After defining, you should be able to list some very good examples of homonyms. Then not only that, you should be able to identify the homonyms of given sentences. That is, you'll be given sentences like two sentences, and you'll be asked to find the homonym that represents the two sentences. Okay, what are homonyms? A homonym is a word that has the same spelling and sound, but a number of different meanings. Did you get that? A homonym is a word that has the same spelling and sound. We spell them the same way, they sound the same way, like the example I showed before, bark, bark, okay? They are spelled the same, they sound the same, but the meaning is different, but a number of different meanings. The meanings are different, even though they have the same spelling and they have the same sound. Okay, we have lots of them. We are going to be um, look at, looking at the examples as we proceed. Okay, look at one that we have here, ruler. You can see this uh, object here. We use it um, when writing. Okay, to rule, to rule. Then a ruler is also someone who rules a group of people. Is that taken? A people who rules a group of people, a person who rules a group of people. So ruler uh, is a homonym. It means different things, not just one thing. Look at the second one here. We have um, tie. Of course, the boys use tie, okay? The men use tie, the males use tie. Then tie also means to bind something together, like to tie something together, to bind together, okay? Someone, someone can say, oh, tie the cords well, okay? That is to bind the cords well, okay? See one that we have here again, can. It means to be able to do something, I can do it. Okay, I can speak French fluently. It is also a, um, an object where you put things inside. Oh, give me a can of um, a can of milk. Okay, can can help. It's, it's also an object. Okay, so can there can mean um, different things. Then we have uh, rose, as you can see here. Rose is a flower, and then rose is also the past tense of what? Of rice. She rose up early, okay? It's the past tense of rise. Like, someone can rise up. Not only that, things can rise. Like, the prices um, rose, uh, the, the prices rose considerably, okay? We have lots of them. We have lots of them. We have more examples here. We have um, the sink, okay, for a ship to sink, and then to watch something in a sink. Okay, we have watch. That is, you have a wristwatch, and then to have, have a watch. That is to um to be watching over something. Then we have nail. 
a no nail that we use to fasten um, pieces of furniture together, pieces of wood. Okay. We also have nail. Okay. To nail something means uh, to dr to um, drive home a point. It means to say something well. Is that taken? Okay. Nail. This nail can also mean part of your fingers. Is that taken? Like um, people paint their nails. Okay, then you cut your nails. That's your finger nails. Okay, so that nail there has, means um, three things from what I've said. It can mean more than three things. Homonyms can mean more than two things. It can mean more than three things. But the thing is that they are the same. Is the same spelling, the same word, the same pronunciation, but the meanings are different. Is that okay? We have my example here. Bat. You know, bat is an animal. Um, then we have a bat used for playing games too. Look at this one. Right. Okay, right means oh, you're correct. When something is correct. Then right also means um, direction. Like turn to the right or turn to the left. Look at the next one we have here. Fly. Okay, fly is an insect like house fly. Okay. Then we also have to move as in to rise higher. Oh, to fly a kite. Then we have a um, palm. You know, a palm is part of your body. That is your palms. Okay. You clap with your palms. Okay. The palm is also a tree. That's where we get palm oil from. We get palm oil from the palm tree. Okay. Then we have band. You know, band is a group of people who sing together, musicians. Okay. Band can also be something that you put on your wrist. Okay. We have ring too. Ring is what um, some marriage... Uh, People, women and men put on their finger, okay? Ring also means a place where um, boxers fight. Have you seen where boxers are fighting before? Probably you have watched it on TV. Okay, that um, place where the fight is called a ring. Not only that, when people form a circle, we can call that a ring as well. Is that okay? Then we have letter. See letter. I want to write a letter to my father, Okay. And also, we have letters of the alphabet, such as A, B, C, D. Okay, so letter can be letters of the alphabet. It can also be letters like formal letter and informal letter that you write to people. Is that taken? Then we have park. Okay? Now, park can be a place where people go for relaxation or just to see nature or just to relax. Now, it, park also means to make a vehicle stop. Okay, to so make a vehicle stop, that is, you park the car. Is that taken? So, all these are, are homonyms. We have a lot of them. Words that are the same spellings, the same pronunciation, but they mean different things. It is you that you're writing, that you understand what you are writing about. And the person reading it will understand. Look at this one now. Natalie greeted a friend with a what? Look at the word. With a wave, that is when you wave your hand, you can see the little girl waving her hand, okay? With a wave. Then look at this other one. The large wave again washed many shells onto the beach. You see, the large wave. Wave there again. The large wave washed many shells onto the beach. Okay, we have a wave here. Hello. Okay, so wave there means different thing, where it's the same spelling, and then it's the same pronunciation. One to wave your hand, then another one, the wave of the sea, okay? So we have so many other examples. We have sign. Oh, this headache is a sign that I will have malaria, or oh, it's a sign of stress, okay? So it's a sign, to a symptom to show you. Then to sign, you know, when you write a, a formal letter, you sign at the hand of the letter okay so that sign for you meaning two different things there i've mentioned tie before i've mentioned watch before then we have firm a firm like an office okay where people um we, we have professionals gather to do some work is that taken then we have um, firm too like the texture of something how firm something is that is the thing is holding strongly i've mentioned fly earlier then we have tear. Look at tear number one, to tear something, to tear it open. Like you have um, your biscuit wrap. When you buy biscuit, 
you tear it, you open it up, you tear the wrap, okay? This, see another one. Then we have tear, that is a drop, like the price tears when water keeps falling from your eyes, you know, like sometimes when um, mommy is cutting onions, you know, it can make water come out of the eyes. Also, when people cry, water come out of the eyes, that's tears, okay? So we have tear, we have a tear. So they are the same sound, they are the same spellings, but they mean different thing. I've mentioned bark earlier. Okay, the outer part of a tree, okay, of the trunk of a tree. Then we have a bark, that is the sound a dog makes. We have lots of them. Look at this, look at this. We are not, just um, snap this, you can screenshot, okay, and go over them one after the other. See address. Address can be where you live, okay, the address of your house. Then um, address, that is how you speak to someone. Is that a kid? They can even mean more than two things, like I said earlier. Okay, I've mentioned band, I've mentioned fly, I've mentioned bat before. Then match, you see, to match something together. Then also a football match. All these words mean more than one thing. That is why they are called homonyms. You see, they mean right, ring, rock, rose, spring, stop, well. You know well where you get water? Then also the girl is feeling well now. Okay, not sick again. We have a lot of them. Think about it. You can get your dictionary and check the meaning of these words. You can also get me some more uh, homonyms that, are, that you've not seen on the screen. Okay, we've talked about homonym. I'll just quickly tell us what homonym is. In what homonym is again. Homonym is a word that represents each of two or more words. Or sentences having the same two or more ways having the same spelling or pronunciation but different meanings and origins they have different meanings and they are not even coming from the same um, from the same um, field at all they, they, they are not related is that taking they are not related and they have different meanings but they sound alike so let's do the simple work you are to choose the word that represents the dual meaning. Dual means you are giving two sentences, okay? Two sentences are there for each question. This should be true. Okay? Now, you are to choose a word that represents the two of them. We have some options there. Band, face, patient, dear, well. So, let's number one. Let's read number one. Number one, LD, or to feel very healthy. Okay, when someone is healthy or is feeling very healthy, what word is it? That word is also for the second part. A deep hole in the ground from which people take water. So what's the answer? The word means you are healthy and it also means a deep hole from which people get water. Is it banned, face, patient, dear, or well? What's the answer? The answer is well. Well. Oh, the girl is feeling well. Okay, I want to get water from the well. So the answer is well. Look at the second one. Able to wait calmly for a long time for something. You wait for a long time for something. You are able to wait calmly. Then look at this one again. Someone receiving medical treatment from a doctor. The person that a doctor is treating is called what? What's the answer? The answer is patient. If someone waits calmly, we said the person is patient, then the person the doctor is treating is also a patient of the doctor. So the um, well here represents two sentences or two words, then patient here to represent two sentences or two words. Is that taken? Thank you. If you have more monims, you can get them across to me through my email. I'll be expecting them. Thank you once again. Enjoy the rest of your day and be happy.